Hey guys, I want to walk you through building a sidebar now and show it. Um, so first off, you can just start with uh, creating a new site canvas, or you can just have that in on your blog template. Um, so I'm going to shrink this down so you don't see anything. Um, and then what, what I usually do is I will add a rectangle and adjust the size. And this is going to be kind of like what I use as the background for the sidebar, just to help me align things and change the background to whatever you want it to be. If you want it to blend, go away, you can either turn it white or at the end of this, you can set it to be hidden. So we've got that. And now let's just say we will add a picture. Let's see. I'm going to add a picture, so this would be like your bio photo, and so obviously a hazard of making your site canvas zero or one pixel means all everything's going to come in really tiny. So um, put that there. You can obviously um, resize it manually um, by typing in stuff here if you're looking for a particular size. So now we have our bio photo. So now let's add maybe another piece of text that says, Hi, I'm Jessica. And let's see, we're going to center all of these. So I'm going to click them all and align to group. And so now I've got it centered. So then let's say we add some text for my bio. I'm going to get some filler. filler text right here so I don't have to think too hard and place that and we can make it smaller so this would be like your little bio introduction um, you can make, adjust the size if you want to be smaller and again let's select everything and align it okay and then let's see what else can we add we could add a categories And so this is going to be like the links to your blog categories and whatever they may be. So category one, I'm just copying and pasting. Okay. And then change them to whatever they're supposed to be. Obviously don't just leave them as category one through four. And again, we can select everything. You obviously do this just one time. I'm just doing it as I go. And so whenever you set up your categories, I have another tutorial for how to link to them, but you're basically just going to go, so say if I go to my blog, go to blog. So these are like some of my categories. So this is what the link that you're gonna see when you click on a category of yours. And that is what you're going to um, set as the click action. So we're going to go URL, paste, and good to go. So you're going to do that for each of your categories. Okay, and then let's say we want to add in our social icons. You can add your icon and usually what I would do is just copy and paste these from another section on your website, but this template um, is an empty one and so I don't have that luxury. <laughs> So you can just add them and copy, paste, copy, paste, and then adjust Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay, so now we have those. Um, another popular thing to add would be just kind of like some quick nav. And so let's just add another picture and make it bigger, make it a little bit smaller. And so maybe this would be, I'm going to make these the same size so I can match size and center. And I'm going to center these with that background. Okay, so now we have this guy and so maybe 
this image is meant to lead to work with me. Okay, and so we can set the click action to go to a page and this would ideally go to like your services page or um, contact, whatever you want it to point to. And do the same thing for the picture, go to a page, point to that page. All right, and so that kind of gets you started on like a basic um, sidebar. And so maybe we want to duplicate this. I just copy and pasted and maybe we change this one to shop my favorites and make these. So I use these alignment tools a lot. Um, so if you don't, try and get familiar with them because they're pretty amazing. Okay. Um, lastly, something fun to add maybe is like an email opt-in. Um, and I wish I had my form. But what you can do is basically let's just take this and copy and paste it and say join the list. And then you'll simply embed your um, email signup form by going to embed code and, oh, it's putting it up here. Okay, so we only need one. We'll get rid of that guy. And then you'll just paste that code right there and resize as needed. Um, actually, I may have a code in here from something else. Okay, yeah, so here's one of my codes. So we'll go back to sidebar paste it and so this is what it you know it will look like once you paste in your own code but it'll be set up the way that you have it set up um, and we'll just resize it get rid of that guy and extend this a bit and center so that is kind of how you get a basic sidebar and then what we're going to do is add that to your blog. So let's say add new canvas, sidebar, add. So I'm paste it at the bottom. We're gonna move it up to the top. And we need to adjust. There we go. Stacking order, you need, may need to play with that so that it appears on top of other items. So now if your blog was designed without a sidebar, you might need to adjust things like say this one, we need to scoot over a bit um, to accommodate that. And that is how you do that. And so now we've built the desktop side, but we also need to make it look right on mobile, which you'll see looks nothing set up yet. So usually what I do is I will hit this layout mobile and I usually click do not layout. So what this does is it applies like the colors and font styles and things like that, but doesn't actually lay it out. Um, but I've just found that that's the easiest way because each of these do different things and like I don't want these icons to be this big. I don't want things to be completely laid out like that. So I usually just do the do not lay out and it just copies over the elements that I need. And then we can edit things as needed. So we need to take these two guys, make them bigger, move them down, move everything down. You just kind of play with it um, as you go and obviously I pretty familiar so I probably will be working faster um, than you but just take your time and you'll get there um, these again these tools you can distribute to get equal spacing between things um, align let's see these are this is my join the list so it's gonna go down here and then we have shop my favorites move him down here. Got work with me. It's gonna go somewhere down here. My bio picture. Play with it. Then we got our categories. So move those out of the way for now. And then we have our bio. Okay. So now you can see it's getting a little bit closer um, 
to what we want. I'm going to make these all a little bit bigger. Match size, center, okay. And the good thing about show it is you can turn off certain elements, like for whatever reason, if you didn't want these to show on mobile, then you can hide them from mobile by clicking this little icon. Um, so it's totally up to you. Okay, so then we have our categories. I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller. And I make this a little bit deeper. Category, category. Center, and then I'm gonna distribute so that they're equal. And there you go. So there is your sidebar on mobile. And we can just select all of this. You can't really select your icons because then it'll put them all together but you can select everything else and align to center. So there you go. So that is how you build a sidebar. And usually what I do um, on mobile is I will create, I'll just duplicate this because usually on mobile you um, may not want your sidebar to be the first thing that they see when they pop onto your block just because um, you want them to see your first blog post most likely just because they're not seeing everything at one time like they are on desktop. So usually I'll say turn this first one off on mobile so that they're seeing your blog first and then we have this duplicate one that we can put at the bottom um, and so we'll turn that one off on desktop. So now you only have one showing on desktop and one showing on mobile but they're in two different locations um, based on what's ideal for their setup. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, also, real quick, I just remembered, make sure you set up your click actions for your icons by setting it to URL and typing in um, your link. But I think that's it. So again, let me know if you have any questions, and I will talk to you guys later.